Okay, welcome back. I want to talk about importing your images from a source that is not a camera card. For example, if you have um, photos on your hard drive that um, you need to bring into Lightroom so that Lightroom can manage and catalog them um, and keep track of them, then um, you need to do an import um, to get them into Lightroom. They are not, um, they don't always move from one location to the other, but um, as you will see, we can move them from one location to another, and Lightroom keeps track of where they are. So you can either go to the file, import photos and video, and remember this is Lightroom 4. If you do not have Lightroom 4 and you have an earlier version, it will not have the words and video. Okay, you can either click that button or you can click this import button down here at the bottom. And we get the same dialog box that we're familiar with that we used in a, um, our importing from our camera. And um, instead of selecting my D700 here, that's not where my files are located. The files that I want are actually located in a working folder um, down here in my drive. They are the JPEGs that I want to bring in. Um, the reason I have them there um, is because um, I wanted to change them into black and white so I exported out of Lightroom as PSDs I did not save them um, on in my Lightroom catalog I ran an action for the black and whites and um, I you can do black and whites in Lightroom and I will tell you that I have never found a preset that quite matches the images that um, I get with my action in in Photoshop. It is my goal to come up with a black and white that I am completely satisfied with, but um, as of this date, I still do that in Photoshop. Um, like I said, it's completely possible, and when I finally do figure it out, my um, processes and my workflow will change, um, but this is how I do it now. So right now, these are in the working file folder, and I actually want to, I'm going to go down to bridge one more time and show you that I want to move them da, 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 up here to this folder here. This is the current client's folder. Um, it has the raw images in it that we worked that I worked on and then um, oops, and then it has absolutely nothing in the JPEGs okay so um, let me go back to Lightroom I'll bring that back up um, let's import those in so I have them selected they are the only images in my working JPEG folder okay they are only from this current session um, and I do not want them to go into this Beauty and the Beast file I want them to go into um, a different directory than is showing. So I'm going to click on my main directory here and it'll show me my 2011 through 2012 photo sessions. If I click on the arrow, it'll open up my 2012s. And I need to navigate to theirs. Um, there we go. I'm going to drop them right into the JPEGs. Now, as you rem may remember from previous. Um, tutorials I keep the the raw box or the um, put in subfolder raw box check marked I need to uncheck that because I do not want them to go into a raw folder I want them to go in a JPEG um, in a previous tutorial earlier today we also gave um, some develop settings to our images I usually do not do those on import and thankfully I remembered that I needed to turn that off because these images are 100 percent complete they do not need any extra develop settings put on them so I am going to select none it will not change these images it is simply going to move them um, this button right here make a second copy to um, that's my backup drive it's not going to support import suspected duplicates I do not need to re keyword these because everything was keyworded originally when I imported these in and um, so this is the drive that it's going to go this is the folder that it's going to go in it's the same folder that we saw in bridge which we see is empty. Okay, so I'm going to hit pause on the video. I'm going to do my import and then I'll come right back. Okay, all of my images have um, successfully imported in um, to Lightroom. 
now Lightroom knows where they are. It can catalog them. They all have keywords. They are all searchable. Um, and when I do searches, I can actually s suggest or select that I only want to see the JPEGs or I only want to see the RAW. So um, it doesn't bother me that I have images with similar, um, well, they'll have different numbers because I exported them out with the client um, the name JET is part of their name and then the um, when the session was and then in the numbers that I've given to them in a sequence okay so um, let's look in bridge and you will see that they are now showing up in here too okay so there they are they were not there earlier and now they are I have no idea what this is um, all right, go back to Lightroom. Now, let's see um, if we can do a real quick update. I do not normally import in um, items that are not JPEGs. I don't import the PSDs in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this client because I know if I go into Bridge, I know that this collage right here is also saved as a PSD. And I did that so that I had all the layers and if the client needs an image changed, I can just go in and change the one image. I um, don't have to recreate it. It's not a flattened image. So um, or it's not a flattened file. So um, I'm going to show you how to import in images and I will actually remove it from the catalog later on. But you see this client folder only shows the JPEGs and the RAW. But we know from Bridge, I'm going to jump back there that this client folder has the JPEG, the PSD, and the RAW. The PSD is not showing up because Lightroom is not currently managing it. So there's um, a couple ways we can do that. Um, since the whole folder is missing, we can go to the main client folder here. And now it's going to show us everything. The rejected RAW, it's going to show us everything there was. Um, okay, wait. There's the JPEG. Okay, so on the client, back on the client everything, the, the top level, we're going to right click and we're going to synchronize folder. And what's going to happen is we get this dialog here. It wants to um, import new photos. It calculated out that there's one new photo. We know that one new photo is the PSD. Um, it's going to show us the import dialog, um, which we just had up on the screen a moment ago. And it's going to scan for metadata updates. Um, this one does not have anything missing in a catalog. Let's say I deleted a couple of images and um, I want to update them. If I delete them from Bridge, let's say, or from um, an Explorer window, um, Lightroom is going to know to remove those missing photos from the catalog or it's going to ask if you want to and you can check or uncheck it. Okay, so let's synchronize and we're going to get the import dialog. slowly. It's working up here. Okay, there's my import dialog. I'm sorry that it's slow. I am still doing more than one task. Um, okay, so that's the one PSD and you'll see that this um, over here we have the PSD in the main client folder um, which is what we expected to happen and um, we have the same, some of the same things that we can do over here. Now, we are not moving these, this image to a new image. We are actually just updating it. It is currently in this folder here, and all we are doing is we are telling Lightroom to manage it. So we are adding it. If you look up here, it says add. Um, prior, when we moved the JPEGs into Lightroom, we actually moved them into this folder here, which was the client folder, and it and it was in a working folder and we had this move was the one that we suggested it would use okay um, so we're gonna add it we don't need to add keywords it already has its own keywords and then we would hit import I don't want to do that so instead of me undoing it later um, I'm just not gonna click it but that's how I would get it in um, and it would just put it right and it would have this PSD now I'm gonna hit cancel and you will see that it does not have a PSD here because I chose not to bring it in. Okay, so it just has my my JPEG and my RAW. Um, 
So that's two different ways that you can you can synchronize um, your images to bring them in or you can import them in directly. Um, it's a little bit confusing but once you do it a couple times you'll get the hang of it. You'll understand um, that you're either moving or adding um, which is just a direct um, a direct kind of, it's not a copy it's just a direct import um, which says manage it. Um, move will actually physically take it from one spot on a hard drive to another spot. When you're bringing in from a camera card you have the choice to bring it in as the original raw file or you can convert it to DNG. Um, I didn't mention that earlier when I did the other video but that's what I choose to do is to convert to DNG. Um, in your options um, up here it's in our preferences or is it in catalog? Um, here it is when you import as DNG you can choose to also embed the original raw file which would have in my case um, the Nikon, the NEF um, raw file. Um, I'm not choosing to do that. I probably could but it takes up quite a bit more room so I choose not to. Um, and then so these are some of the different preferences. I'm not going to go into that right now but um, those are your options for importing in. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.